Well, hello, folks. How are y'all doing tonight? It's coffee time. It's supper time. Let's talk about something good. Someone reminded me the other day when I used to want to say, let's talk. Um, Because we talked more back then. Now we cook more. All right, let's make something good tonight. Mama made a pork roast today. It just came out of the crock pot. About 40 minutes ago. It's cooled down, but it, I'm going to heat it back up. <laughs> Let's go over here to this skillet. So, I'm going to put in, this is a cup and a half of water. I'm going to put in one cup of water. Ooh, you're hot. We cook hot here, Mama. It's pretty oh. everything burns us. Mine's just a cup. Because <sighs> that's what the recipe said, Mama. Oh. All right, so now I'm going to start adding my various ingredients, and I'll read these off to you. I'll read them off to you as I'm going, then I'll read them off to you again. So I'm going to start out with just a little bit of minced, that's garlic. Oh, you want an onion. Yes. I'm going to put the minced onion in there so they can soften just a little bit, but I got minced garlic. Wrong recipe. Let me go ahead and read you the recipe. I'm going to wrap this on here. Okay. So this, thank you. Thank you so much. So I'm going to put about a good teaspoon of minced onion, minced onion in here. In that water. Now it's not often you get to start a recipe out with water. I mean, really. But we are tonight. So this is a cup of water. I've got some more here if I need it. That's the onion. I want that to kind of get a little liquefied. Now let's go down the list. A teaspoon of ground sage. This is sage. Now I'm going to guesstimate because I've done a little bit of sage in my life. And that's going to be what I'm going to put. I'm going to cover the top. I'm going to put a little bit of sage. Ooh. Calls for nice one teaspoon. Isn't it Sage. good, Mama? Ooh. This is calls. For, this calls for a clove of garlic, um, crushed, and a clove is equivalent to a teaspoon. And I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to use the bottom of the spoon because it's not garlic that we are after. So I'm going to use just that much garlic. Okay. The only thing is getting a whiff of stronger, whatever you A have. half a cup of brown sugar and a tablespoon of, of uh, cornstarch. Mama's going to be working on that. And it's going to be thickened with that little bit of cornstarch. This I was going to use, but I had the minced out, so you could have used your garlic paste. Should have, probably. Now I'm going to use... One cup of water, I already put it in there. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. So I'm gonna use this as a guesstimated tablespoon. I've got tablespoons, but one little, two little. This is reduced fat. Not reduced fat, sodium. reduced sodium. Not fat. Sandwiches. Reduced <laughs> I guess I'm so used to looking for reduced fat stuff. Salt and pepper to taste. Just gonna shake the top. I can know pepper was coming. There it's it is. Coming out. Salt and pepper to taste. That's reduced sodium soy sauce, but there's some sodium in it, so I'm not gonna put that much salt salt. We may have to add some. We'll see. Minced onion, I didn't put that. A teaspoon of ground, I'm missing something. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I think I'm trying to put that, uh, I think I'm still trying to put this paste in there and I don't need it. I already put the garlic. This is one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Ooh. This is gonna give you that good flavoring. Okay, Mama. Now, I am missing something. I knew I wasn't having something. 
I thought there's something you didn't do, John. Well, it's called balsamic. Why wouldn't you put the balsamic in there, John? It's so silly sometimes. I'm not sick. This is a fourth of a cup. We're going to put a fourth of a cup of balsamic vinaigrette. Whoop. Boy, did I measure that good or what? Ooh. Don't breathe, Mama. I'm not. There's the good stuff. Now, you notice I didn't measure that. I don't want to play with it. I want to make sure I get it just right. Come over here and look at Mama. I'm just sitting here. All right, Mama, I feel time. like, I think I'm good now, but I felt like I was forgetting something. I was the main ingredient. Just the main ingredient. Okay, One teaspoon ground sage. We got it. One clove of garlic crushed. We got it. A half a cup of brown sugar. We got it. One tablespoon cornstarch. Got it. Fourth of a cup of balsamic vinegar. One cup of water, it's in there. Two tablespoons of soy sauce, it's in there. Salt and pepper. And we started with minced onions and we added a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And that, folks, smells so good. Mama, you've got somebody at your door. All right. Now, we're going to let this boil. I'm going to turn him up. I want him to get good and hot because I want him to thicken. He is going to thicken a little bit because I've got the cornstarch in there. That makes a big difference. And it's starting to boil. See there? Let's let it boil. Now, I want to taste this. I want to see what we have here. Okay. I'm gonna stir this around gently. I don't want to scratch my skillet. Now this smells so good. Ah, oh, smells so good. It was a delivery. Now let me tell you a little something about our delivery people. We know our delivery people, they're all good people. They know that wild cat is up there on the prowl. And uh, so they ring our doorbell. They ring all the way to the door and ring the doorbell. Isn't that nice? Uh, because they know Abby will eat it, destroy it. Now this is thicker than you may think. Well, you all can't see it because I ain't it turned around there. I'm going to turn it down now. But see how thick it's getting? That little bit of cornstarch has done its job. Okay, let's taste this. I smell that vinegar cooking. Folks. Mm -hmm. It's good. Now, it feels like that bottle is getting to the top. It's right in my way. If you're wondering why didn't I put this in there, because it's garlic too. It's just paste, and I was going to use it, and I already had that out. Hey, eh, you know. Okay, you can use either or. This is to the right consistency. Now, into this, I'm going to lay this pork tenderloin that I have sliced, and I'm just going to lay it in there, just like this. Remember, it said two pounds. I don't care if it's two pounds or not. I'm going to put just some slices that I have sliced off here. By the way, I used my new knife and um, to cut the pork and it cut beautifully. What I'm doing is just mashing some of these out to make them the same thickness. Because I'm just going to do a plate of a pan full here. Okay? So there it is. I just want to put a whole pan full in here. Probably not two whole pounds, maybe a pound and a half. Here's one more little tiny piece to go left there. Now this was just a whole pork tenderloin. Mama put it in the crock pot this morning. Mama, you wanna tell us what all you put in it? Oh, let's see what all I put in it. Mama, you can come over here. She's too excited to talk to y'all. We're, we're stuck at news now. She's I over there like, let me see what's in this package. It's a... 
know if you can get that open. It's frozen. It needs okay. to be put in. We'll get it in just a second. I want to turn these to where they're all covered. I want them covered in this beautiful balsamic glaze. That's what I'm going for. Now look how beautiful that is. Let's put our little stick over the moment comes it over there. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover. I'm going to go ahead and cover it up. Now the meat is done. Because it's simmered all day. The sauce is thickened. So it's ready to eat. I'm going to put this over here. My mom put all that junk up in a minute, but right now I'm just making a way for us. I didn't have to have this water, but if it thickens, I will. So what I've got is we are going to eat some whole grain beans, just steamed, nothing on them. Uh, I've got butter and corn and a little bit of parsley in a dish over there. So it's going to be that buttery flavor with a little bit of parsley on it. So it's just whole kernel corn out of a can. And we're going to have this beautiful pork roast that Mama made. That meat's getting hot again all through. And we're going to have some corn. And we're going to have those green beans. Now, I normally fry those green beans in garlic. Do you want them plain, Mama, or you want me to fry them in garlic? No. Well, I think we got garlic in. Okay, that's the reason I was saying. Since we got garlic in here. I'm just going to do plain green beans. We now will shake, shake a song. But they're just the steamed whole green beans. And that's what we're going to have, folks. That's going to be supper tonight. It's like a Southern Sunday luncheon. It's so good. But I seen this. Pardon? I'll take this. Well, I don't know. Oh. <coughs> if that's if that gets Give thicker. Give me the mustard and I'll put it okay. out You know, Mama likes to clean as she goes. I do too sometimes. But as soon as this heats up and we get that corn ready in those green beans, we'll start eating. Um, so it's semi-healthy. But I saw this balsamic uh, uh, brown sugar balsamic glaze. I thought that would be almost good on so many things. And when I come home, Mama said, now I have fixed a pork tenderloin. And I said, oh, that's good. Well, we have a with it. And she said, that part is up to you. I am not... <laughs> I'm not thinking about that, but that pork tenderloin was in my way in the freezer and I'm going to cook it, and I did. So, she cooked it and it was delicious. She put it in um, coffee, because we do our pork in coffee. And she put a little water, a cup of water. Uh, water, I put it up on the, and then I put uh, it it went like this. Uh, and then I put... Now that's one fault I had about this little skillet. Is that thing gonna fall out? Just touch it. What was I saying? Water. Water. Coffee first, and then some water. Very tender. And then I put. Uh, uh, well, I'm blank on my skill. Southern seasoning. Southern, Southern secret. secret. Uh, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, and then I used uh, some steak flavoring and salt. Fancy steakhouse. No, yeah, something like that. In this drawer right here, yeah. Trying. It's called Fancy Steakhouse. I know that steak's not in my cooking. Fancy Steakhouse. And that's what I put on it. And it's so good. And it's flavored it up real good. Oh, and I cut up an onion. Oh. And put it in the coffee and the water around it. I put that in there. I let that onion cook. Oh, you did good, Mom. So the flavor would go in there. You did extra good. Uh, Cause you like stuff flavored good, and I said I put enough to flavor it up. I like good flavor, so she's accusing me now. Mm -hmm. Mama, you supposed to like good flavor too. Yeah, if you love. You like different flavors, don't you? That is a sweet potato thing. There. I need to set those in the freezer. Right yeah. here it is. The two little boxes right here. He's left me here. Sing or dance, Mama. Sing or dance. Do something. Oh, I can't do all of that stuff. Do something, Mama. This is a sweet potato casserole. And there's two of them. You can see. 
those and we got the, these just now and we got a, a raspberry cheesecake. This is from Pam and Joe and I still want you to remember them in prayer and uh, we sure do thank them and appreciate all of it and I can't wait to try this sweet potato casserole but I am going to leave you and uh, Mama don't leave. It's rude to leave gas. And put these in the freezer because we're not going to eat them today or tomorrow. It's rude to leave your gas. Well, you better go up here and talk to them real fast because I'm leaving. This is froze hard in this ice. Mom, I'll cook you a good supper. But the ice pack's about gone. I'll leave it. I'll cook you a good, good supper. Mama's left y'all. You go. I'm bringing the rest of the supper over. Y'all hold on two seconds. All right? You all hold on two seconds. And we're going to eat. Corn served. See? Beautiful corn. The green beans. Go ahead and set that over here. I'm gonna put the green beans on that platter. Just in case it needs a platter. Y'all hold on, two shakes of lamb's tail. We fixin' to eat. We're fixin' to eat. He's left you too. No, I didn't leave him, Mama. You did the leaving. I just. Well, I don't want that to thaw now. No, it wasn't me leaving. Jesus. It was foggy outside. Uh, the mountains are sinking in some fog because uh, earlier today. Did you do it? No, I haven't been in the mountains. Mm -hmm. Earlier today, it was real smoky and you could smell it really. Let's look at this. It's dry. Let's look at this. So there's those green beans. They're just whole green beans. And I did sprinkle a little bit of minced garlic and just took back over there. Then I guess that's the reason I brought it over here. There's our pork and that beautiful balsamic brown sugar glaze. Oh. And here's our, here is our corn. And what that green is, it's just a little bit of parsley to make it, I guess, fancy. What else you call Are you fancy in it up? Well, I don't know. I just like to put it in there. Are you going to drink your coffee? Or I'm you? drinking coffee, Mama. Unless you have something better to offer now. I've got tea and you some Sprite. Is it un the uncaffeinated tea? Yeah. I'll take a little glass of tea. Now, see, these are not our usual beans. These were frozen beans. I got these from the Schwann's truck. Um... And they've been in there a minute. But I like to butter them and put garlic on them. But this is a lighter way. So a good healthy amount of green beans won't hurt you. Especially when they look like that. Now look how good. Now, let's get us... We need a real spoon so we can get that beautiful glaze. Now the meat is good in, oh, it's so good. Mama did such a good job on it. Plus, now I've heated it right back up because it had cooled off a little bit while we were waiting. But it's heated back up. That glaze is the perfect thickness. See that? That's what you're looking for. This looks like a good piece right here. Mama, I'm trying to get you the best piece in the oh, pot. Oh, just in here. Oh, just any of them will do. I'm trying to get you the best piece in the pot. You pump. just want plain lemon or are you going to? I'll have a little lemon with mine. Plain you can, lemon. I love that one. You can put... Uh, plain tea with lemon. I want a little bit of lemon. I'm going to put Mama a little bit more of this glaze over here. If y'all aren't used to balsamic vinegar, 
It makes a wonderful glaze. It makes a wonderful, I made it balsamic glaze about a month or so ago. I don't know how come one of us is in the wrong position. Maybe we're like this usually. I'll there bring you, you down. I'll, you I'll bring you down and read. Too I'll bring you down and read in a minute, but we'll get this lemon juice. I'm still liking it. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, but I have drank some of that and it tastes, it's got a good taste to it. Even mama approved of it. I've been using it. It's good. Not hardly as strong as it. No, it's not Minute Maid now. I'm not switching. But during this drought of Minute Maid, at our local store, you have to use what you have to use. That's right. And we always rely on Save a Lot, and Tipton is a good brand. We like it. So, mm -hmm. as my mommy says, you take what you've got and be thankful. Be thankful. All right, Mama, what do you think? I've got one complaint. <laughs> Can you say it after we pray? Maybe it'll come out better. No, you know what it is. <laughs> My potatoes. <laughs> I thought she had a plant complain about the food, not the lack thereof. <laughs> Mama, it's not a rule that we always have to have a potato with every Your meal. Your daddy always said he didn't know what we was having, but he knows potatoes one thing. Now this is the difference between me cooking and Mama cooking. <laughs> if Mama cooked, there would have been a potato. Of some sort. Probably mashed. Of some sort. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this meal. We thank you for nourishing our bodies with it, dear Lord. And we just want to thank you for your mercy and your love and your grace, dear Lord. And be with each and every person here gathered. And dear Lord, we know they have so many prayer requests, so many needs, and so many hurts, dear Lord, that they're asking you to touch. And we pray this that you'll just touch each and every one, dear Lord. Be with our nation, be with our world, and be with all the leaders therein. In your wonderful, precious name we pray. Amen. Okay, let's get you over here. Let's bring it a little lower. You can't see up high. Now that's not downtown, folks. That's like downtown. I only put a half of a tablespoon of butter in that corn. Put a sprinkle, sprinkle of salt and a little pepper. Let's try it first. And parsley flakes. And parsley flakes. Well, what do you think, Mama? It's good. The corn's good. And the green beans? No mm, good. Your mm. daddy wouldn't eat them. No. No, but uh, we will. Mm -hmm. It's not your favorite. Didn't even put bacon grease in it. It was just steam and a little bit of garlic on top. And I sprinkled, sprinkled salt when I took them and put them on the plate. And that was it. Let's try this balsamic pork tenderloin. Mm-mm, mm-mm, this is going to be off the hook. It's good. It's delicious. This glaze is a keeper, folks. This glaze was so easy to make. And this glaze would be delicious on so many things. Mm-mm. Why don't we eat this every night? I couldn't eat them green beans every night, you know what I mean? I'm going to start a bowl or a cup or a basket. And I'm going to drop in it like tonight. I'm going to say balsamic glazed pork tenderloin with corn and green beans. And when we say, we don't know what we want to eat, I'm going to pull <laughs> something out. That's what we And I'm going to say, Mama, this is one of our favorites. And we can have an idea. <laughs> but this is good. And it's relatively healthy. Uh, I mean. Brown sugar. And I knew that was going to say it. But it's relatively healthy. Yeah, the green beans is healthy. As promised, I'm going to read you this recipe one more time. Get your pencils and your paper. Because I'm going to need another piece of pork before I start reading. <laughs> this is delicious. This we do with pork chops. Mm-hmm. You're going to be so proud of me. I already am, Mama. Can't 
guess what I had for lunch today? Leftover Mama's rolled up rock and roll. Oh, those were so good. The rock and roll. Uh -huh. Who warned me one of those? The chicken rock and roll croissant. Yeah, and it went crescent. Down. It went down so good. Wasn't it good? I didn't take that for I lunch. I thought, well, there's three of them. I'll leave you two and I'll eat one. Why, well, that first and tasted so good. I thought, well, he won't be here to eat that. So I just had two today for lunch. 10,000 times <laughs> at least. Maybe 10 million. I have told her two things in her life. Don't ever wait for me to eat. Don't ever not eat something and save it for me. I can find, I can eat bologna. If it's something she'll eat, do not save it for me. Now you have that other one tomorrow for lunch because I'm, I'm, I'm done with them. So they There's were delicious. There's a whole bowl of these. There's a whole bowl of that stuff. We'll make something different. One piece of corn got away. Can you blow that? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with that other stuff? Freeze it or use it? I don't know. I don't want to use it tonight. That's the reason I got out the pork roast. I didn't want to be right. Mm -hmm. Chicken to chicken. chicken, we could, chicken. You can't even make sandwiches out of that. Yeah. Well, let me read this to you one more time. You get your pencil and your paper. It's called Brown Sugar Balsamic Tenderloin. Pork Tenderloin. It says two pounds of pork. That was probably, maybe two pounds. I don't know. Whatever pork you got, it don't matter. One teaspoon of ground sage. And you can taste that good sage in there. One clove of garlic crushed. One half cup brown sugar. One tablespoon of cornstarch. That's to thicken it. One fourth cup balsamic vinegar. One cup of water, and that's what I used, and I didn't add no more. Two tablespoons of soy sauce, salt and pepper to taste, minced onion to taste, and a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And that's exactly what I put in it. And I didn't add anything else to it. And um, it was wonderful. It's wonderful. It's delicious. Um, I'd recommend this glaze. I wouldn't even call it pork tenderloin glaze. I would just do it separate and say good on pork, good on meat. <laughs> I'm just sitting here thinking, I think this would be good on a hamburger steak. It probably would be. The flavor profile, I would love to have this, and I may do that. I knocked the corn off under you. <laughs> <laughs> I may do that, is do a, a chopped beef steak, put a little onion in there, and put this sauce over a chopped beef steak. This sauce is going in my book of wonderful sauces. What was that the other night? Something? No, it didn't help with some, that vinegar in it. What did it have? <laughs> Don't get me to try to say that because I can't. Balsamic? Balsamic. I don't remember I used anything the other night. Here, we put brown sugar and... We didn't put balsamic vinegar in it. That's what I say. No, we didn't use it, but we used brown sugar and something. That was a pork chops. Oh, yeah. That was maple glazed pork chops. Maple glazed, that's what it was. Totally different. This is not maple glazed. But it's delicious. It's delicious. Now, let's talk. Let's see what you all are saying. Bet it'd be great on chicken. I think so, Lisa. We're going to try this on a bunch of stuff. I don't believe they do. Stella, I don't know. What do we not do? Be great on carrots. Mm, it could be. Uh, you two should do a cookbook. We're going to work on that, Deanna. So wonderful to enjoy dinner together. Uh, we, we, this is a highlight of our day. It's just good to sit down with each other and to get to sit down with you all. Oh, yeah. Take a picture of the recipe. Post it in. in take a picture of the recipe. Post it, you read too fast. Did I read it too fast, Rebecca? <laughs> to write, you did. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'm going to read it again. <laughs> and I'm going to go slow. And I'm going to read it. Just watch. 
I'll take care of you. It's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's a teaspoon of ground sage. Y'all get that written down. One teaspoon tea of ground sage. sage. And I can talk to y'all while I'm reading it. Slot. Why don't you go please send me a friend request? James, don't ask her to send you a friend request. If she wants to, she will. Now, if you're if you're on here a bunch of times, James, I'm gonna have to take you off. Mm -mm -mm. Don't be asking these ladies to send no friend requests. Don't bother them. You read too fast, Susan. We working on that, Susan. So I just said one teaspoon of ground sage, one clove of garlic crushed, one clove of garlic crush, crushed. We are eating. Come back for Lady Mignon tonight. Oh, Ray. Ooh. Ray St. John. That sounds good. Salmon for you, Lisa. I love salmon. Someone said today, have you ever tasted salmon patties made out of a can? <laughs> I've tasted them. I dream about them sometimes. I love salmon patties. The, I, and sometimes I just crave them. My mama's not too wild about it. And I'll wait as long as I can. I said, Mom, we're going to have to break over and have some salmon. Now, I ate the last salmon patty better than... We put that uh, y'all's lime pepper in it. Is that what it was? Mm -hmm. I couldn't remember what we done did. So we got one teaspoon of ground sage. One clove of garlic crushed. That's what I already said. Now we're going to say a half a cup of brown sugar. One half cup of brown sugar. I'll let y'all get that written down. Mm -mm -mm. This is a good supper. No bread. One tablespoon of cornstarch. So a half a cup of brown sugar and a tablespoon of cornstarch. That's what we're down to. And that tablespoon did well to thicken and I didn't have to add water in the end. It didn't over thicken it. So let's go back to the top so I don't write this down. One teaspoon ground sage, one clove of garlic crushed, one half cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of cornstarch. Here's your new one. One fourth cup of balsamic vinegar, any kind you want to use. One fourth cup balsamic vinegar. Don't that sound good? Mm -hmm. Let's start back up. Now it's one teaspoon of ground sage, one clove of garlic crushed, half a cup of brown sugar, a tablespoon of cornstarch, fourth cup balsamic vinegar, and Here's your next new one. One cup of water. That's all I used. One whole cup of water. You're doing good. Slow. I'm doing better. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. That's another new one. I did use reduced sodium. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Salt and pepper to taste, how much you want. That's the new ingredient. Salt and pepper, just put S and P to taste. And then I probably put a half a teaspoon of minced onions in there to start with in the water. And one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. One tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Now I'm going to go back over. You check your list. One teaspoon ground sage. One clove of garlic crushed. One half cup of brown sugar. One tablespoon of cornstarch. One fourth cup of balsamic vinegar. One cup of water. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Salt and pepper to taste. Minced onion. I used about a half a teaspoon probably. And one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And if you want to write some, in direct, uh, some directions, start with your cup of water in your saucepan and add all the other ingredients and stir it till it thickens. Once it's thickened and boils a little, that'll cause it to thicken. Add your pork tenderloin in there with it. It's and then already cooked. Cooked pork tenderloin. That's important cooked pork tenderloin or pork chops. 
and let them simmer for about 10 minutes to 15. Just like we did. And that's all. Y'all gonna love this. You're gonna love it. Your family's gonna love it. Don't tell your children it's got balsamic vinegar in it. Just tell them it's a good brown gravy. They're gonna love it because it don't taste bad. Hmm. I love it. You love about everything, Tasha. You don't. No, I'm picky. And you like it. Yeah. Don't yeah. tell your mom it's got salt and it. vinegar in it either. <laughs> tell your old mommy said that. Well, when you're raised and all you ever ate growing up and everything, and your whole life really is just plain food, <laughs> it's hard to sweat. <laughs> what are you holding my hand up for? I thought she was taking count. Because <laughs> hey, I cook that way. <laughs> when you're raised up that way, it's hard to change. I've always said that way. And cooked that way. Mm -hmm. I was raised up on salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Not that I ain't done some stuff. You did. Mm -hmm. But not garlic hardly ever. I remember the first time I made tuna fish casserole. Oh, I can't. You eat tuna fish. Tuna raw, cold. That's what I made. You said tuna, casserole. Or first time I made tuna fish sandwiches. Tuna fish salad. And I said, Mama, I'm going to put a little of this lemon pepper in it. And it'll be, don't you ruin that tuna. <laughs> so I took half of it out or part of it out. Put a little lemon pepper in it. Gave her her part. Took my part. And I said, do you want to taste my part? Maybe when I get through with mine. But I don't want you ruining my lunch before uh, with all that gone. I said, Mom, it was just a little bit of lemon pepper. She t she ate hers. And then she tasted mine and she said, Now, I like that. I said, if you would tasted it earlier, you could have had the sandwich of it. <laughs> but it's good with it in the moment. Yeah. So now we use the Yow's lime pepper. And it does the same thing. It, it takes out some of the tuna fish flavor. Well, I think it helped the salmon, the lime. It, it does. Because I could eat it better. It does. It, may, it just makes it so good. So sometimes changing and rearranging and trying something new ain't bad. All right, folks, you need to try this one. I don't always say that. Sometimes they tell you it's a hot mess. You probably don't want to fool with it. We don't take. We won't tell you wrong. We do sometimes make hot messes. Brownies out of banana bread. Huh? Brownies? Is that what you said? Is it too soon? What? Banana bread brownies. Oh, that. <laughs> it's that was, too soon. That was a disaster. It was good. It tasted good. It tasted good, but it turned right back into banana bread. We put too much in there. Mm -hmm. And it didn't do. Mm. Is it too soon? Yeah, it's too soon to mention it. <laughs> She's still talking about it. She's still talking to her sister about it. Getting some therapy. There I was on that camera making them old things and they didn't turn out right. But they was good. Mama, that's the whole point. If they was good, it worked. Now, they didn't turn out like brownies. They turned out like a banana bread. Because we put too much in and we made them an eight to eight. And we found out she used self rising flour. That made them rise a little bit more, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the reason. But they were good. Your daddy would have said, They are good. We'll eat them with a spoon. That was his solution to everything. Candy. I took them to one of my offices and they got rave reviews. But I didn't tell them it was supposed to be brownies. I said, <laughs> This is some new banana bread that Mama made with an icing on it. And they loved it. The ice was real good. The whole thing was good. There was nothing, nothing, nothing wrong with them. Except that we burned them and we scraped that off and we rebaked them and they turned into banana bread and they were wonderful. Mm -hmm. We're going to fix them again. I feel disastrous now. We're going to fix them again just so we can say we did them right. 
But, you know, mistakes. I felt like putting the police tape, do not enter, do not cross. <laughs> mistakes makes, keeps us humble. Keeps yeah. us, you know, everything's good. Daddy says if you don't make mistakes, you, you don't do done. nothing. And I like the one that says, if you never take a shot, you'll miss every one of them. Oh, yeah. You'll never hit nothing if you don't take a shot. I mean, if you don't take a shot, you may miss a few. You may miss half of them. You may miss all of them. But if you never, ever take a shot, you'll always have missed them. All right, Mama. I fed you well tonight. Tomorrow yeah. night, you have to cook. Goodness. I cooked the meat tonight. I get the credit for something. You put it in the crock pot and you walked away. No, I checked on it all through the day, all through the evening. <laughs> I cut it off the bone. And then I made you a wonderful glaze, made you some delicious green beans and some corn with some fancy green and stuff in it. Fix me no and fix no, no potatoes. potatoes. I am guilty of that. But now I don't believe. I've ate and done pretty good. With and that. you didn't have to have the potatoes. And your sugar is going to be so good tonight when you check it. Oh. Not with that glaze, it ain't going to be that great. We're going to need a peanut butter and cracker, but the glaze had a little bit of brown sugar in it, but you didn't need it all. I mean, look, let's, let's examine this. It had a half a cup of brown sugar, and look at all of it still over there. Mm -hmm. It's not like I fed you a half a cup of brown sugar. You only had about two ounces. I could have eaten a half a cup of brown sugar without slowing down. <laughs> but what I'm saying is the whole container had a half a cup. Mm -hmm. And I just gave you a pork tenderloin that had been in it, and then it's just a drizzle. So all in all, how much sugar could you have possibly got in that little bite? Not a whole lot. So, I mean, yeah, it's got a half a cup, but it ain't like I put it in her tea. It's in the whole dish. I mean, I'm right, Amy. I, this, I seen it was a little cartoon thing, but it was, uh, had a diet. Zero Coke like I drank. Mm -hmm. I was going to tell you this. <laughs> and then it had a lot of snacks there. Mm -hmm. I said, that's just like me. And he said, the Zero Coke and all those snacks, he said, it'll equal itself out. <laughs> Mama thinks it deletes it. <laughs> and I think she hired at me the other evening. Day before yesterday, yesterday, and said, yesterday. bring me a Sprite regular, which means my sugar's dropping. <laughs> so I don't listen. I come in and get her a little bit of orange juice because to us, I'm not a doctor, but that raises her sugar up and stabilizes it better than anything else, quicker than anything else. So I got her a little bit of orange juice and I take it in there to her bedroom, which what I'm never in her bedroom. What did I say? Thank you. No. Oh, that's not Sprite. <laughs> On her bedside table was various and sundress pieces of sweetness. And there was something Reese. What was that? Was that Reese morsels by no. your bed? Chocolate chips. <laughs> Chocolate chips. A whole bag of them. I was too worried about getting her sugar up to level and checking it to really go back to it. But I remember when I went, I thought, what's these chocolate chips or Reese Pieces doing? See, here? I could have ate some of that. But I warmed it up. But Mama, beside that was another thing with some more candies in it. I just use that stuff when I get in the middle of the oh. night. Oh, for municipal purposes. Municipal purposes. That's right. So you just use that, you need a bucket of sugar. I don't eat it all at one time. I just eat a little bit when I have to have it. And I tried to be good and not eat sweet candy. I was going to get a little bit of Sprite. <laughs> and you wouldn't give it to me. It made me drink old orange juice. Mm. We keep orange juice just for such emergencies. And I don't like orange juice and drink it. But you use it. When you give it to me. Mom's sugar drops like that. That's the problem. Now, 
I was in my office and she came into my office right before this and she took her sweater off. My red flag went up. Because she was warm. That's when we know it's going down. And I thought, mm, I'm going to monitor her for a little bit. And she walked straight out of there and immediately, Johnny, bring me a regular Sprite. Mm, I knew. So you, you learn your people and you learn those little flags. But that's just the life of been a diabetic in a moment. Yeah. For the most part, it's I been pretty stable. I was working until it hit me all mm. at once. It, it, for the most part, hers has been pretty stable. We've made some changes. We've cut down the bread. We have cut down a lot of sugar. She went to only uh, zero pumps. So I'm going to give her a big A because it don't go down that much anymore or up either. But he, I know the culprit that day was uh, cottage cheese and some fruit cocktail. For lunch, that's all she had. Now the cottage cheese was a good protein, and I'm, she is learning to eat some proteins with her sweets, and the fruit was okay. But it wasn't in heavy serving. No, but it was still a lot you for a little. Some. But it's still well. I don't have diabetes, but you, it's still a lot for your little body because you hadn't had protein. What did you have for breakfast that morning? Probably a sausage biscuit. That's right. She, she tanks up on the sweet sometimes. But she's doing great. I was working real good and snap. There it hit. Snap. Snap, she said. All right, folks, that's all we got tonight. Thank y'all for joining us. Thank you for being here with us. Uh, hi, John. We had roast potatoes and carrots. Well, Dane Thomas. That sounds good. Dane Thomas, Mama would come and eat with you because you've got them taters going on. I didn't get no potatoes tonight, people. Not one potato bite. You'll be all right, Mama. I might have nightmares about that. <laughs> oh, Susan says we're the high point of her day. Bless you both. Well, Susan, Thank you. you're the high point of our evening tonight. That was sweet of you. <laughs> Samantha, how are you? I do owe Jan. Um, I forget your last name, Jan. I know you're... Steve Duncan on here, who was not letting me eat the popcorn. He had told me his sister's... And I called the wrong person his sister the other night. And then he told me, not only can I not eat popcorn, but his sister's name is Jan. So, Jan, I apologize to you. <laughs> And to the person I'm mistaken for Steve's, Steve's sister, I apologize to you too. Because if you was Steve's sister, there'd be no popcorn for you. What's a world without popcorn? And it is very small. Mm -hmm. Just look at that plate. You did good. And see, you didn't even need all that brown sugar. Mm. Maybe we can find a brown sugar substitute and we'll quit doing that. Well, don't take everything away. <laughs> Maybe we could get some of that zero sugar pancake syrup. And you I went to see Lil Paul. Don't push everything. I gotta live a living. You brought it up, Mama. I know it. But it equals out, you know. Zero pop and you look at the sweets. <laughs> I wish I could taste that. I've got that little thing out for myself. I could tell you and show you. You can take a picture of it. Stand down now. Mama will try to describe something to me. She's standing at the store. <laughs> and she'll say it's this, it's that, it's in a red box, and it's got this, and it said something on it, but I don't remember what it was, blah, blah. <coughs> and every time I say to her, <coughs> Mama, you got a phone with a camera on it. Just sh snap it. I'll start doing that. <laughs> Two days later. It's about this time. I'm like, Mom, you got that phone. I forgot about that phone. Anything you see on there, Mama, 
I've shown you how to take screenshots. Shh. And you can do it and you can see. I could picture. do that on my iPad. I learned how to do it on it. Same on your phone? But on my phone, I didn't know how to do it. <laughs> it's the same <laughs> I've shown you. Well, I'll have to learn that. You'll have to remember it. I use my phone for everything. I'm sure a bunch of y'all do too. Like if I'm... You do for grocery list and everything. I do. All right, folks, we're going to say goodbye. This is our third Southern goodbye, but we're oh, going to make this wow. one stick. Y'all have a good night. Have a blessed night. It's 719. It's getting late, ain't it? It's getting going to be my bedtime for long. <laughs> You're going to stay up for a little while, Mama. I'm trying to scoot my bedtime back a little bit because I was getting up in the middle of the night. So I've pushed it back. And it gives me a little more time in the evening. A little harder to wake up in the morning, but my body's starting to react to it better. And I got to thinking, it's soon going to be daylight till 9.30. So you better get used to it. We got to say goodbye. This is our fifth one. Mama, hurry. We're getting out of control. <laughs> Good night, Mama. God bless you. Bye-bye. Have a blessed night. Thanks for putting up with us. Bye. Bye-bye.